This is my 1981 Toyota pickup with a 22R running off of a 4-pin General Motors HEI ignition module to replace the original Toyota igniter which is out of production. Many of the aftermarket igniters aren't very reliable but HEI units generally are and are quite cheap but a little confusing to retrofit to a 22R if it's your first time. I wanted to contribute to the 22R RE community so I made this video and a schematic that clearly show how to build the system on your own. A huge thanks to the 13th Sword who has made several videos of their own on how to make the system. They did an enormous amount of trial and error and without them this system would not be anywhere near as reliable as it is. This is the diagram I made. Essentially, the HEI takes an AC signal input from the original distributor's pickup coil which it then uses to fire the ignition coil. To power the HEI, the unit just needs 12 volt switched power and a good ground. That's it. This small wiring harness I made connects the red and white wires from the OEM distributor's pickup coil and goes to the W or white and G green terminals of the HEI. Just remember, white goes to white and red goes to green. The C terminal of the HEI connects to coil negative of the ignition coil. On SR5, EFI, emission controlled and other models there is a yellow wire which feeds the TAC if you have one or connects to an ECU as an RPM reference for fueling or small controlled equipment. The coloring may vary depending on your vehicle so be sure to look up an original wiring diagram just to make sure. The last terminal on the HEI is the B terminal which connects to 12 volt switched power. Switched power also needs to go to the coil positive of the ignition coil. As an optional addition, which is not necessary for the installation, I installed a Bosch 5 pin relay to bypass any issues that may exist in my original harness and guarantee a clean and ample power supply to the HEI and the coil. The relay is very easy to wire up. Battery positive goes to 30 which passes through to 87 to power the coil and the HEI. 85 and 86 are interchangeable. One goes to ground and one goes to 12 volt switch power from the ignition switch. This energizes an electromagnetic coil within the relay which then connects 30 and 87 to complete the circuit to the HEI and coil positive. You can also add in a toggle switch between ground and pin 85 or 86, whichever you use for ground, to install a hidden kill switch to prevent carjacking. If you do decide to install the relay, ensure you have a 10 amp inline fuse between the battery and pin 30 to protect your wiring in a dead short situation. The last connection to the HEI is the ground which is located on the HEI mounting hole on the CB terminal side. Take your time to ensure you have a really good ground and consider a direct connection to the battery negative post and the chassis as a redundant ground. It is incredibly important for proper operation or you may run into misfires or intermittent cutting out of the system. The HEI unit gets fairly hot and needs a heat sink to dissipate that heat. You can use an AC Delco part or fab one of your own. Either way, be sure to use a small bit of thermal paste to ensure there's a strong thermal connection between the HEI unit and the heat sink. Once everything is wired up, remove the distributor cap and the rotor and be sure to check the air gap between the reluctor and the pickup coil with a non-magnetic feeler gauge. Spec is between 8 and 16 thousandths of an inch or between 0.2 to 0.4 millimeters. A neat trick is to use an American $1 bill and fold it three times to reach 12 thousandths of an inch or a standard non-laminated business card. You just want to feel a slight bit of drag and then you know that the air gap is adjusted properly. If you want to go the extra mile, you can hook up an oscilloscope to the W and G terminals of the HEI to double check that you have a clean AC signal from the pickup coil. Ensure you have a nice clean connection or you may see false interference. You want to see nice clean peaks and valleys. I saw about 2-3 to three volts at idle and about 5 volts at higher RPM. If you run into any issues, feel free to find me on Facebook, Instagram, or leave a comment. I'm not very active on any of them, and I work a full-time job, but I'll try to help if I can. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and good luck.